And so we have to be, we have to be pretty careful. But we, this has been well trailed. This has been a, a chronicle of a death foretold for, for some months now. And I think it, effectively it's pretty much what Ollie Robbins and Sabine Veyon agreed uh, a, a, few, a few weeks back anyway. Uh, we're going to stay in the customs union on this deal. We're going to stay effectively in large parts of the, of the single market. And uh, that means it's vassal state stuff. Uh, we are going to, for the first time in a thousand years, uh, this place, this parliament, uh, will not have a say over the laws that govern this country. It is a quite incredible state of affairs. It will mean that we are having to accept rules and regulations from Brussels over which we have no say ourselves. It is utterly unacceptable to anybody who believes in democracy. It is not the right way forward. And there is a kicker. And the kicker is that not only are we going to remain in the customs union and in large parts of the single market, uh, but also we will not have protected our precious union. Because if you look at what they've agreed today, uh, again, we must caveat this and say you look at the reports, then it is also accepted that there must be customs and regulatory checks down the Irish Sea between Great Britain and Northern Ireland, which currently do not exist. And for the first time since partition, Dublin, under these proposals, would have more say in some aspects of the government of Northern Ireland than London. So I don't see how you can support it from a democratic point of view. I don't see how a unionist uh, can support it. And I don't see how you can support it if you believe in the political and economic freedom of this country. So, so if what, you ask my question, am I going to vote against it? The answer is yes. Yeah, I think 